It's about time I teach you how to cook a delicious Atama soup. Atama soup is one of the most delicious and recommended food here in Akwaibum State, Nigeria. And there is nothing complicated about cooking it. Okay, let's start. This is Atama leaf. This is how the leaf looks like. In case you see it anywhere, you'll be able to identify it. We have the dark one and the white Atama. The special of Atama that I use for this recipe is the white Atama. The white Atama is not bitter. It's only the dark one that have a bit of bitterness in it. So pick the leaf of your tama and slice it into tiny pieces. Just like what you're seeing over here. Please note that you can also slice it and dry it. Then use it for your other recipes, okay? After slicing it, pound it with your mortar till it gets to this stage. Then remove it from the mortar and put inside your bowl. Then use water to wash it. Why I'm washing it is to remove the sleepiness in it. And also, I did not wash this atama before slicing it. I just pluck it directly from the farm. Then I slice it. So you have to wash it to remove one, the dust that must have settled on the leaf and also the sleepiness from it. It wasn't bitter. So I didn't wash it because it was bitter. So this is how to wash your atama. You can use your shifter to wash it or use this neat to wash it, okay? I only wash it once and I will also advise you to do the same because this liquid we are removing, this chlorophyll is the nutrients we are looking for in the atama. Place your pot of meat on fire, add your onion, your salt and also your fresh pepper. Then stir and allow it to cook till 80% done. Once the meat is 80% done, go in with your dry fish and your bomo, which is also your cow skin. Then add a bit of um, water to it and allow it to cook like 5 minutes before you go in with your fresh homemade palm oil. I produce this palm oil by myself. You can see how fresh it is. Next, you're going to go in with your water leaf. Wash and slice it into tiny pieces. I told you that the best special of water leaf to use in cooking is called coiling water leaf. After slicing it, add it to your pot of food and allow it to simmer for about 30 seconds before turning it. Then go in with your periwinkle. Always make sure you select your crayfish or you wash it before pounding it to avoid sand in your food. Because you wouldn't want your client or loved ones to complain about your food, okay? Give it a good mix so that all the ingredients can incorporate together. This was done before the cooking process. I prepare and steam my shrimps, then set it aside. While your water leaf is still very fresh on fire, go in with your atama leaf, okay? And give it a very careful stir so that everything can be well mixed together. If you've watched this video up to this very point, it means that you are already in love with all our recipes. Please go over to the comment section and write today, I love Atama soup. And tell me where you are commenting from so that I can send you a special greetings in my next video. This recipe is mind-blowing. You need to try it. Next, I went in with my shrimps, eight of them precisely. Another secret ingredient I added was my natural seasoning. This water comprises of crab, shrimps, squid, octopus, and oyster. I steam all of them together, then used it in my daily cooking. This replaces all the chemical additives that you use in cooking. Next, you're going to go in with your fresh palm oil. I always love the taste of this fresh palm oil in my soup, so I added a bit of it and gave it a good mix. So this all goes to Liz Logan Okoro, watching from Florida, United States of America. I'm glad you love our recipes. Tell me where you're commenting from so I can send you a special oak in my next video. Taste and adjust any lacking ingredients if need be, then bring it off the heat. Our recipe is ready. The taste is out of this world. Just follow my daily recipe and see how I've made cooking to be so easy and interesting. This is just a simple way to cook a delicious atama soup. There is nothing complicated about cooking. Cooking is an art, not a science. It's all about mixing ingredients in the right proportion and also good timing. Please, if you've tried any of our recipes and it works out for you, do well to send us pictures on Instagram at Baptist underscore Nature Kitchen. Thank you so much for watching our videos. See you in our next one. Bye-bye.